These Justice Democrats are complete cowards. They're Twitter fingers. They like to tweet. They say a whole lot of things that sound nice, but they don't actually do anything. Keep it 100, I be feeling like, uh, Campbell's soup over white rice, uh, baked chicken with the skin on, yeah, Lowry's with black pepper, I'm fully seasoned with that. What's good, 100 percenters? It's your boy, Dre, and welcome to my channel, Keep It 100, Dre. So... As we all know, the $1.9 trillion stimulus package, it just passed. Joe Biden signed it and those relief checks and all the other benefits we're going out to the people very shortly. I discussed all the benefits in a previous video. I'm going to link that below. So I'm not going to discuss what's in the package because I already did. What I'm going to discuss is what's not in it and how the Justice Democrats completely failed us. So the biggest thing that's not in this stimulus package is the $15 minimum wage. So just as Democrats already failed us on the fight for Medicare for all, the force the vote campaign that, I, that Jimmy Dore started, they already failed us on that because they were too much of cowards to do that. So when it came to the $15 minimum wage, they failed us once again. So... I want to start off by reading this tweet by Cori Bush, a uh, Justice Democrat. Take a look at this. So Cori Bush said, Today we passed the American Rescue Plan to deliver $1.9 trillion in relief for our communities. The fight for monthly retroactive $2,000 stimulus check is not over. The fight for at least $15 minimum wage is not over. The fight for canceling all student debt is not over. So I want to tell you why that tweet is a bunch of complete garbage. Because everything she said, it's impossible to happen, at least in the near future for the next year going forward. Except the canceling student debt. But let me tell you why it's impossible. So the reason why it absolutely had to be in this stimulus bill that just got passed through budget reconciliation, the process of budget reconciliation is when you have 51 votes in order to pass an economic bill. So right now, the Democrats have exactly 51 votes with the with the vice president, Kamala Harris, being the tiebreaker. So if it did not get passed in this bill, it could not be passed in the future because the budget reconciliation process can only be used one time per year maximum. So the fact that it didn't go through budget reconciliation this time is going to have to go through regular order requiring 60 votes in order to pass. Not a single Republican voted for the stimulus package. Not a single Republican voted for a $15 minimum wage. And there's no Republicans that's going to be in favor of Medicare for all. So they're not going to get nine Republicans to sign on to an increase in the minimum wage. Especially not $15. That's just not going to happen. They're not going to get nine Republicans to sign on to a Medicare for all bill. That's just not going to happen. And the canceling of student debt, the only reason why that's the only thing possible of anything that Cory Bush tweeted was Joe Biden can sign an executive order to completely eliminate all student loan debt and medical debt. But he's just not going to. So that's still a fight that's possible. But everything else, Cory Bush is completely gaslighting and BSing us. These Justice Democrats are complete cowards. They're Twitter fingers. They like to tweet. They say a whole lot of things that sound nice, but they don't actually do anything. And let me tell you why I say that. The Justice Democrats this time around had the opportunity to, after the bill went to the Senate, when the bill went to the Senate and they took out the $15 minimum wage, they reduced unemployment from $400 a week to $300 a week and just made everything worse. It gets sent back to the House. And if they want to make changes, then it will go back to the Senate and keep going back and forth until it's passed. So it got sent back to the House. So... There's such a slim majority in the House that it took just it would take just six Democrats would have taken just six Democrats in order to to block that bill. Say, hey, we're not voting for this bill unless there's a $15 minimum wage in it. And again, not a single Republican would join over to vote on the stimulus bill. So every Democrat had to agree or at least all but six had to agree in order to put it in the bill. 
if six Democrats defected, that bill couldn't pass. So it would, here's the thing. That bill was a must-pass bill for Joe Biden. If he doesn't pass that bill, his entire presidency is done. It was a must-pass bill. Joe Biden said it. Everyone said that bill needs to be passed. So if they use their leverage, that's the thing. These Democrats don't use their leverage. If they use their leverage and say, hey, us six Democrats are not signing this bill unless you put $15 minimum wage in it, they'd have no choice. And there was 23 of them that wrote a strongly written letter to Joe Biden. Who the hell cares about a letter? So they wrote a letter to Joe Biden about why he should include it, include it in the bill. And then Ro Connor came out and said, hey, even if he doesn't include it, I'm still going to vote for the bill. Why would Joe Biden do anything if you say I'm still going to vote for you no matter what? How stupid is that? It makes no damn sense. So these Democrats, had they defected and say we're not voting for your bill unless you put the $15 minimum wage in it, it would go back to the Senate and Joe Biden would have to say, hey, listen, if you you senators that decide you don't want to vote for it, um, Joe Manchin, listen, you're going to vote for it right now because this bill needs to pass. And then you would have been a hero because you would have got a living wage for the people. You could have gotten recurring $2,000 checks like Cori Bush claimed that she wanted to happen. All of that was possible. But you decided to be cowards and sign the bill because you're afraid that the media is going to attack you. You're afraid that that Nancy Pelosi is going to attack you. Chuck Schumer is going to attack you. Joe Biden is going to attack you. That makes you cowards. And let me call out these Justice Democrats because they're, they're the ones that's not corrupted and not bought. But who cares if you're not taking corporate money if you're not standing up for us, if you're not defending us? You're still just as bad as the bought corrupt ones. The bought corrupt Democrats, they're strong against saying F the people. And then the uncorrupted, unbought Democrats, they're weak because they're afraid of the media. Don't think you have anyone in Congress. They're all weak. They're cowards. So let me name these Justice Democrats who were all, who are all cowards. Because all it took was six, all it would have taken was six of you to say we're not approving that bill unless you put the 15 hour minimum wage in there. All it would have taken was six of you. So let me read out these Justice Democrats. Raul Grajava, Ro Khanna, Marie Newman, AOC, who's a celebrity. I don't care about your celebrity. I met AOC before. I can't. I, I made calls for her. I don't care if she's a celebrity. Ayanna Presley. She, she's not. She's not progressive at all. But she's a justice Democrat. For, for whatever reason, she's a justice Democrat. Rashida Tlaib. Ilhan Omar. Cori Bush. Jamal Bowman. And Pramila Jayapal. None of you decide to vote against the bill because you're all cowards. You're Twitter fingers. You're not going to do anything besides tweet. You're going to tweet mean words. You're going to write a letter to Joe Biden. Who the hell cares about that? So here's what we need to do to show that this isn't acceptable. Stop donating to their campaign. Until they actually do something that's tangible, that matters, stop donating to them. I don't care about what the hell you tweet. What does, what does tweeting do? It does absolutely nothing. It does nothing to improve the lives of the average person, the people that's struggling. I remember I went on um, the show uh, with Carrie Barber and I forgot her, her co-host name. I apologize for that. And they said someone like AOC wouldn't be on the show because she's a, she's a celebrity now. <laughs> That's the only thing that matters to her now. She's not as, she's not a fighter for the people. Yeah, her words may be progressive. Her tweets are super progressive and aggressive, but that's where it stops. She called Nancy Pelosi mama bear. What the hell? Nancy Pelosi is one of the most corrupt, rich uh, plutocrats in America. And she's mama bear. What the hell is that? Stop don donating to these people's campaign until they actually do something. Not just what they tweet. Don't tweet no don't treat politicians as celebrities. They're not. 
They're supposed to be public servants. And if they're not serving your will, get them the hell out. So that's all I got to say for today. These Justice Democrats are cowards, just like the rest of the Democrats who are corrupt cowards. They're all cowards. So word of the day for today is coward. Coward is spelled C-O-W-A-R-D. The definition of coward is a person who lacks the courage to do or endure dangerous or unpleasant things. That's the epitome of these Justice Democrats. They're all cowards. So let me use this. Let me use cowards or coward. Let's make it cowards in a sentence. The Justice Democrats are all complete cowards. Hopefully I use that sentence correctly. So, oh, one thing that I'm going to say, most of my subscribers, they're people that support the Justice Democrats. As you can see, I have a very small subscriber base. So this could cost me a, a lot of my subscribers and people are just going to dislike the video just because I'm being critical of the Justice Democrats. But here's the thing, I don't care about that. I don't give a damn. Like my channel name states, keep it 100, Dre. I'm going to be 100% honest with you. I don't, whether it offends you or not. It's not my business whether you're offended that I'm trying to hold politicians accountable. That's the whole that's the whole point behind this channel. Me being honest about politicians, whether they're on my side, nominally at least, or not. So if you want to unsubscribe because I said, hey, they're cowards for for just loving the tweet and not doing anything, that's fine with me. I have find people who who like when people hold politicians accountable. Those are the type of people I want to be part of the community. People I like when people are honest with them. Keep it 100 with them. People I, that would prefer the ugly truth rather than a pretty lie. So that's all I got to say for the, today. If you like the content, like and subscribe to the channel. Turn on the post notifications so you know when I post a video in the future. And use cowards in the comment section below so I know you watched the video to the end. So, again, I really appreciate you watching the video. 100% this. Peace. Well, I've been stacking up. Uh, no, nah, really, that ain't accurate. Because I just spent my whole damn advance in the past couple months just to compensate for times we ain't have enough. Ooh.